Do you want to have the ability to capture your Android phone screen using a Mac or a PC? Well, there's a small software that you need to use and I'm going to show you how you can set that up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download this software called Screen Copy from a GitHub user, GenY Mobile. And I'll leave a link in the description. And I'm going to download the Windows package and it will download a zip folder for you and select the destination where you want to save the zip folder. And once you've done that, you also want to make sure to extract the zip file and again, save it to any destination as well. So the next thing you do is you're going to plug in your phone via USB and also want to make sure that USB debugging is enabled on your phone. If it's not, you're going to have to look up the manufacturer of your phone and find a way to enable USB debugging. Now go into the screen copy folder that you downloaded to your computer, look for the screen copy application, double click on it, and it'll automatically start the program. And now your Android screen is now being captured on your computer. One of the things you can do in this software is you can actually use your mouse and actually control your phone. So I'm swiping left and right in my apps menu, open up a web browser and surfing on the internet using the phone web browser. So you can actually use your mouse to control the phone itself. Now screen copy also has a couple commands that you can use to do certain things. So for example, I want to change the bit rate. So what I did was I launched the open a terminal here uh, file and went back to the website, look for the command that I want to use and I'm going to copy it and just paste it into the terminal. Now you can use any screen recording software to screen record anything that's being captured on your Windows desktop. In my case, I'm going to use OBS. And what I did was in OBS, I just added a window capture and I just renamed this to Android. And I just select the screencopy.exe in my window section and click on OK. And now I just added that as my source. And with OBS, you can add multiple sources. So I can even add a webcam, uh, another window capture as well. So this is how you will capture your Android phone screen on a Windows PC. My question for everyone is what other software do you use to screen record your Android phone? Leave your comments below. If you like this video, please make sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you get notified of new videos. And if you would like to support our channel, we are available on Patreon. You can feel free to check out our Patreon tiers and we are also available on Ko-Fi. Now on the Mac side, what we need to do is we need to install Homebrew first. So what we're going to do is we're going to visit the Homebrew website. And once you visit the website, you want to open up a terminal window on your Mac and just copy and paste that command into your terminal. Now the installation process of Homebrew does take a while. So just be patient and just let it run. So right after you install Homebrew, we're going to install the Android platform tools. And all you do is just go back to the screen copy website and copy that command and paste it into your terminal. Now this installation process does take a while as well. So just be patient and let it do the installation process. Once you have finished installing the Android platform tools, just go ahead and copy and paste the install screen copy command into your terminal. And then wait for the installation process to be completed. So the next thing you do is you're going to plug in your phone via USB and also want to make sure that USB debugging is enabled on your phone. If it's not, you're going to have to look up the manufacturer of your phone and find a way to enable USB debugging. Now type in SCRCPY into terminal, hit enter, and now the application is now starting. And just like the Windows version, you could use your mouse to control the phone as well on the Mac side. Now, if you want to change the configurations and screen copy on Mac, what you got to do is on terminal, press control Z, and then look for the command that you want to use, copy and paste it into your terminal. And once you do that, it's going to relaunch the application with the changes that you have set. So now you can use a screen recording app on your Mac, like QuickTime to capture anything that's on your desktop at the moment. Uh, but for me, I like to use OBS on my Mac.
But on the Mac side, there's a disadvantage in terms of using the window capture. So on the Mac side, it's Mac OS screen capture. And what I tried to do was after I added the source and select window capture, the screen copy application is not a choice that I could pick. So instead of using window capture, what I did was I used display capture. So what I did was I re-added the source using Mac OS screen capture, you know, name to Android again, but this time I select display capture. Now, right now I had my iPad use, using the sidecar feature. So my iPad is acting as my second screen. And I basically moved the screen copy application over to my second display or my iPad. You don't have to use an iPad, you could use a second monitor. So this way I can now add screen copy to OBS and I could add other things as well. So use display capture instead of window capture if you're using OBS on a Mac. So this is how you will capture your Android phone screen on a Mac. If you want to learn how to screen record your iOS device, check out the video at the end of this video and I'll see you next time.